to set apart this ground upon which we stand to the honor and glory of thy great name. Let thy spirit descend upon the chapel to be established here, and within its sanctuary let thy glory dwell. May the love of God our Father fill all who shall hear seek thy faith. And may thy presence be with them as they go forth from this place in peace. And now I ask you as is listed in our bulletin to pray with me that prayer that Jesus taught his disciples so long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Also, as it is listed, I ask you to read responsibly with me. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea. And established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not lift up his soul to what is false. And does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord. And vindication from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful for this opportunity to gather before you on this special day to turn the earth for our chapel's construction. We especially appreciate the effort of those who have generously given their personal time and effort to plan, organize, and pull together the resources to make this place of worship a reality. Also bless those who contribute their personal funds, many who will never have the chance to worship here, but have a sense of commitment to those who do. We are most thankful for the engineers who designed and the contractors who will construct a place for worship here, and we ask that you bless and guide the workers throughout this project. We pray that as the first family, their guests, and our service members worship here, their hearts will be lifted and that they know you will guide them in their daily actions. Lord, we also pray for your blessings upon our President and First Lady for their assistance in this project, and please bless those who serve their country by serving their president. We ask all this in God's name. Amen. To the glory of God and in the presence of these persons, I now direct that ground be broken to the chapel at Camp David. Upon you as benefactors of this project rests the responsibility and privilege to cause a chapel to rise here which shall be devoted to the honor and worship of Almighty God. As ground is broken today, it is our charge that a chapel may rise here for our nation's first family, their guests, and the civilian and military personnel who support the president shall pray and meditate as they seek God's forgiveness, love, and grace. And further, that it be a place where the word of God shall be so read and preached that it shall become the living word and the sacraments so administered that all life shall become a sacrament. as good at this as you are, honey. <laughs> hey, good form. Very good. Honey. Is that all right? That's fine. Thank you. Okay. I'd love to see you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.
President. Uh, if you could do one more for the picture, since we're releasing this. Sounds just like Holly. <laughs> <laughs> one more take. <laughs> Could you get around so I can see you, please? Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, one more. Present. I have a place to go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We okay, had this right. right where the footer goes. <laughs> Now, as it is lifted uh, in our program, I would ask you to pray with me responsibly the prayer that is there for us. Almighty and everlasting God, in communion with the saints in all ages, and remembering the heritage that has been given us, we offer thee our praise and thanksgiving. O Lord, hear our prayer. Help us to accept the privilege and responsibility of this thy fellowship of faith, here may we keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, so, so we may fulfill the law of love. Enable us by thy grace to dedicate ourselves this day to the solemn task which thou dost lay upon the heart and consciences. In all that we do, be thou, O Lord, our strength and help. Reveal to us the beauty of thy perfect law and the joy of our living Lord, that with glad hearts we may show forth our thankfulness and serve thee all our days to the glory of thy blessed name. Be thou, O Lord, our guide and help forevermore, for this chapel shall be a house of prayer for all people. And now, go in peace, and may the love of God go before you to guide you, behind you to encourage you, above you to protect you, below you to uphold you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.